Good morning. We actually just received this response from the Chinese government, and in it they say the situation on the Korean Peninsula is highly sensitive. We hope the parties will be cautious with words and behavior and stop provoking each other and avoid escalation. Now, the Chinese government fears that this war of words could lead to a regional arms race, and that already appears to be happening. South Korean President Moon Jae-in is calling for a complete overhaul of South Korea's military in the face of North Korea's rapidly evolving nuclear capabilities. In Japan, some lawmakers are pushing for new weapons that could launch a preemptive strike. Now, keep in mind, China just agreed this past weekend to go along with the U.N. sanctions on Kim Jong-un's regime, which will largely be up to China to enforce. Having the president of the United States throw more fuel on this fire may make China think twice about how far down the road it wants to go in supporting U.S. actions on North Korea. Now, next week, North Korea celebrates its Liberation Day, and some analysts have said that that might be an opportunity for Kim Jong-un to launch yet another missile or conduct his country's sixth underground nuclear test.